Hey, what's up guys? My name is Chris and welcome to I Run For Ultra. Yeah. All right guys, so here we are again on another week of what happened in ultra running? I'm here to break it down for you, but before we start off, sometimes when I'm running, I get muscle cramps, but not when I take Hot Shot. Hot Shot. It's a pre-workout drink that stops muscle cramps, which is actually pretty great. And uh, it comes in this nice little small package, and it's simple, you know? Even if you're going somewhere and you need to carry something with you, Hot Shot's definitely the way to go. Shout out to Hot Shot. Thank you for sponsoring our I Run for Ultra Ambassadors. But that's not what we're here to talk about. What are we here to talk about? What happened this week in Ultra Running? First off, I'm gonna talk about Ryan Hall and Michael Wardian. These two dudes are doing seven marathons over seven continents, and wait for it, seven days. It starts off in Antarctica and it ends over in Sydney. Um, they travel to like Miami and Chile and Madrid and all these crazy places and these dudes, I think they're doing it at the same time and they might be competing against each other, they might not be. I don't wanna start any drama. I don't wanna say what I've heard. All I'm saying is that keep an eye on these two because that's about to go down all over the world, seven continents. It's just, it's, it's an ultra marathon showdown. Ching, ching. Ollie Stodden is crossing over Antarctica and as of the 17th, he's already hit the South Pole and he's the youngest guy to do so. Uh, he's almost across the entire part of Antarctica, which is remarkable, amazing, and he's doing it completely unsupported. If you haven't, check out his Instagram and his Twitter. Dude's got like stickers on his face that are like bandages, but they're like stuck on his face. And he's just like, yeah, I got some frostbite, but I'm just rolling through it. What? Who just rolls through frostbite, man? Stay up to date with what he's doing. Like I said before, via his Twitter account, this guy, he's just out of control. Um, youngest guy to do so crossing Antarctica and it's gonna be 1100 miles. Take care of the frostbite at least when you get home. Don't just leave it like that. Maybe that would be a cool thing to do. Last week we talked about the Montane Spine Race and this week it's concluded. We have our two winners, well, male and female winners, but check this. First place of the males, Tom Hollins. Finished the whole thing in 99 hours. Just went all out. Like that spine, I'll take that spine over there, that's fine. This spine over here, I'm gonna be the epidural, you be the spine. Of the females, Carol Morgan took first place and also decided, hey, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and beat a record while I'm here. I'm, I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm already doing the race, so I might as well beat a record because that's what people do. And she beat the previous record by 43 hours and finished the entire race with 109 hours. Congratulations to both of you. You guys have done amazing feats and, you know, stage races. The Vertical Kilometer World Circuit is now live. You can actually sign up and do some crazy stuff just like everybody else. Or all of this kind of uphill, more ultra marathon stuff is really kind of blowing up. But now with the World Circuit, they're, they're gonna be showcasing 14 races over eight countries. So it's gonna be a really good time for you to get into it because a lot of these other guys probably that are like, oh man, this ultra marathon on basic pavement, I'm not down with that anymore. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead over here, literally at this angle and this steep incline to compete. Now, I, you know, hey, if there's a way that you just kind of transition from pavement all the way over to spine, then, you know, keep it alive. Up next, we got Eric and Paul Chan. They have announced that they are going to decide to do the Eight Deserts Challenge. I believe is a personal challenge that they have put on themselves. One of them is a more experienced racer than the other, but then he got them all encouraged and he caught the bug. So now they're going through with bug in tow, uh, deciding to do the Eight Deserts Challenge, which is going to be the Four Deserts Challenge Plus, so that would be the Grand Slam Plus, which actually five desert races, and then on top of that, they're gonna do three other races, which is the uh, Ice Ultra, Trans Picos, Oman Desert Marathon. And with that being said, then it's all wrapped up. I'm gonna do eight, you know, deserts, but they're doing it within a year. Guys, guys, come on. 
in a year that's what they said they're gonna do so if they're gonna complete it that's gonna be awesome but then you're like hey Chris how do I how do I follow how do I see if they're really doing what they say they're gonna do well you can check out their website which is perfectstriderunning.com. Now on perfectstriderunning.com, it tells you about them and what they're trying to do, but also it'll let you know what charity they support so that way you can donate to it as well. Good luck to you guys. I really hope that you're able to complete the entire thing and not have too many blisters. Is that, is that too much to ask? Is it, is it? Yes. Yes, it is. And finally, we just want to take a second to say happy birthday to Zach Bitter. You had a crazy 2016, and we really hope that your 2017 is just as good. And that's it. That's all the news from this week. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you do. Also, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with what we're doing, what we're going to be talking about. And keep in mind, remember, we're not just covering what other people have done. We're going to be coming out with a few videos of our own, of what we're doing. Not necessarily running eight deserts in one year, but I mean, I did my hair today, so. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Chris, and this is I Run For Ultra.